Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday. As you guys saw, we started off our morning making waffles. It's one of Sefton's favorite things to do on Saturday morning. No matter how tired I am or how much work I need to get done around the house or whatever, he wakes up and he requests waffles. So now that everyone is calm fed and settled i am in the bathroom getting myself ready for the day but before i do that i do need to freshen up our bedding i like to do that on saturdays or sundays i'm doing it today i'm just in that mood right now i have been in like full spring cleaning mode throughout the house i've just been going from room to room sprucing up making little minor changes and so i decided i wanted to change out our bedding I typically just do all white bedding on our bed it's just easy i've done that for years so this time around i wanted to to switch it up a little bit get rid of the white add a little bit of color still neutral so that's what we're gonna do and I do have a Brooklinen unboxing thank you Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of this video if you guys don't know anything about Brooklinen they are a luxury sheets company they give you the highest quality sheets at the lowest price. They have a variety of colors and prints for you to choose from. I have been obsessed with Brooklinen since the very first sheet set that I received from them. Now, I highly suggest doing the hardcore bundle because you save more money. So Brooklinen's philosophy is to bring you high quality bedding at an affordable fair price. I personally love Brooklinen because what I've noticed with their bedding is that with each wash it gets better and better. The fabric becomes softer and softer over time and it literally feels like you are just sleeping on a cloud. It's like sleeping at a luxurious hotel. You know how those luxurious hotels have the really nice bedding and you just feel just so nice and cozy? Well, you can have that in your own bed with Brooklyn and Sheets. So let's just get the box open because I'm excited to share with you guys the color that I chose this time. But like I said, I wanted to do something different and but still keep it neutral. So each package comes with a Brooklyn and a booklet with all of the details and information about the bedding. So for our spring and summer bedding, I decided to go with the classic set because this is a cooler, lightweight bedding set. So if you have hot sleepers in your family, this is the way to go because this set is super lightweight and it has a very like cooling effect. I did get the classic duvet color in warm gray. I also got the classic pillowcases in warm gray. And then I decided to go with the classic sheet set in solid cream. So I didn't want to do white, white again. I wanted to kind of tone it down. I really am impressed by the way this looks that I'm looking at it. You get one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases, which is great. So I have a total of four pillowcases, which works out great because I have four pillows. So. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash these up really quick so I can freshen them up a little bit and then we are going to put these on the bed because right now the bed has like nothing on it. I literally stripped it. <laughs> the only thing that's on the bed right now is the duvet and the duvet cover, which I'm gonna take that off and put that away because this is what we're gonna be using right now. So if you're interested in getting your hands on some Brooklyn and bedding, head over to their site. I'll leave everything linked below because right now they are having a big birthday sale. It's like their biggest sale of the year where they're offering you 25% off until May 3rd. However, if you are watching this after May 3rd, don't worry. I do have a code below for you to get $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. So I highly suggest if you're in spring cleaning mode like I am right now and you're wanting to spruce up your bedding with some more, you know, fun colors or if you just want to freshen it up just for spring. You know, it's just always nice when you're going into a new season to have fresh, crisp, new bedding. 
head over to Brooklyn again I will leave all the information in the description box below as well as here on the screen and yeah let's go and switch out this bedding well let's go wash this first and then switch out the bedding all right Alright guys, so as you can see, the bed has been made. I literally had to pull my hair up because that duvet situation, the roll method is probably the easiest hack for getting your duvet cover on your duvet. I've tried it several different ways and the roll method works best however it is a workout when you're trying to do it by yourself i would recommend having someone else do it with you but because i was recording i wanted to do it on my own if you have two people helping you roll it goes much easier but yes i'm so happy that i have all of our fresh clean new bedding on the bed now what i will say i do not usually do the flat sheet on the bed however PK is a flat sheet lover, so that's a little compromise. It's okay, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Typically, I do not sleep with the flat sheet. I feel like it just gets in the way, it's fine. <laughs> So again, I will have all the details and links below for you guys to check out in the description box. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, and for sponsoring this video. So we are at PJ's Soccer Practice. We're early, but we're just sitting here in the parking lot. I went to a new coffee spot called fairgrounds coffee i got a cold brew they pretty much like have like different flavored cold brews on tap and i took a picture i didn't record in there i took a picture though and it was really cool like the um barista i guess that's what he is i'm not sure he let me taste a few different flavors and then he told me his two flavors that he likes to mix mix the salted caramel cold brew and then the 
I can't remember the name of the other one. He did half and half, and then I just did oat milk. And that's it, it's so good. So I'll definitely add Fairground to my list of coffee shops because it was good. And they have food too, we didn't order any food. Yeah, it was cute. The, the with the mom who Ooh, there's a lot of trains that go past here. So I just put my tulips for the week in the vase. I had too many for the clear vase, so I ended up putting the extra ones in this white vase, and then I just added the eucalyptus to this vase so this is just all eucalyptus in here made my lunch which was tuna with some crackers and banana peppers like tuna is my go-to when i'm just like don't know what i want but i need to eat something so yeah have that it's one o'clock now pj is napping I have some editing to do. I have some briefs I need to look over. I have some invoices I need to send. So yeah, I need to get on that like now. Before I do that, I wanna show you guys what I got in from Zara. For this, the day after I ordered the jacket that I showed you guys last week, watching Lisa Lisa, D1 here on YouTube and she shared these tanks and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. So I went on the site and ordered me one. So let's see how it works. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Okay, so here it is. It's a white ribbed cotton tank. Got it personalized with HSM. Um, so yeah, I got this in a size medium and the tank was 19. And I think it was like a dollar or two dollars to have it personalized in um, black. And it's actually like stitched in. So if you can see, it's like stitched in there. And I like that the neck on this is like a scoop neck. So I just thought that was really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work because PJ will be up before I know it. And then it'll be time to get Seth. And once I pick Seth up from school and we come home, I kind of shut everything down 
for the day and switch into like full on mom mode. So yeah, I try to get as much stuff done as I can while PJ is napping and Seth is in school just so that I can like focus and concentrate and think. So yeah, let me do that and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, I'm back with a little Timu unboxing. Not sponsored by the way. Just some stuff that I picked up, some extra stuff that I wanted to get that I saw later on. Mm -hmm. So, so first thing I got is this power strip storage box. So basically what this is, you put a power strip inside and you can plug all of your chargers, phone, watch, all that stuff. And the cords come out on this end. Keeps everything nice and neat. So I am going to put this actually up here on the counter because this is kind of where we keep all of our like computers and electronics and stuff. And that way we'll have all of the power cords and chargers and everything in one place just go ahead and open it so i can show you guys and i think the color is cream no it's off-white here's how it looks your cords come out here and then you just put that little power cord in there plug it into the wall and then and so what's cool is when your phone is charging you can actually like bring the cord through this top part and just have your phone kind of like sitting up here like so and just have your phone sitting like that or down whichever one you choose so I just thought this was something really neat to have and practical and just keep everything kind of like organized so I got that and then I got some more of those shower racks that I showed you guys um, I got the same exact ones but I am going to um, I think I got three again yeah so I got three of these and I'm going to use these in the second bathroom so we decided to just make both bathrooms cohesive those will go in the second bathroom and then i got this rack that i'm planning on using to replace either this rack that I use in the kitchen for like snacks and stuff or the rack that I use in my bathroom. I'm thinking maybe using it in the bathroom just because it, I don't know. I have to look at it again. I can't even remember which one I got to be honest. But it's a one, two, three, four tiered rack. Let's see which one. Oh, it's in like this black smoke color. I might use this in a bathroom actually. I'll show you guys photos somewhere on the screen of how it looks. That's it for my little Timu haul. Like I said, just some things that I wanted to get, especially like these racks. I really, really like these racks. I'll leave these linked because if you want some new shower racks in your bathroom, this is the route to go. Also, you don't have to use these in your shower. You can use these behind your toilet or if you wanna like stack them at your vanity for like perfumes or whatever, use them for that. So they're not just for the shower. I got mine for our showers. So that is going to do it. y'all i figured i would do my nighttime skincare routine while pj is playing in the tub he gets to play and i can do my skincare so it's like killing two birds with one stone i'm gonna use this tasha 
because oh, I've been oh, loving that. My new rack, y'all. I went ahead and set it up, and I really like it in here much better than that other rack. The other rack, you guys probably couldn't tell, but it was three tiers, but it was different sizes, so I couldn't hold a lot on each one. This one, I'm able to kind of like put more stuff on each rack, and it doesn't look as cluttered, I feel, as the other one. So yeah, I like it. I really, really like it. It looks really good right here. It's not in a way, it's not bulky. I, I think it looks really good. It also has like little hooks on the top if you wanna like hang something on there, which I probably won't do that, but yeah, I like that. So, so anywho, I'm gonna go and go ahead and do my skincare and then wash this guy up and then that will be it so i want to go ahead and close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next one